We bought a lap approximately two years ago. It's a farm rich in history. I think the farm was a land grant in the early 1700s to the Buckner family and was sold to um, the Sims family, Colonel Sims. Um, upon his death, it was then willed to his sons. Edward Sims brought his, bought his brother out of the farm, quickly went through his inheritance, and he locally borrowed $750. He said he was going to go to Texas and come back a rich man. And several years later, he came back a rich man and you know, uh, built Tilapa um, with all the extravagances and luxury that that, that you could build one if you had unlimited resources. He died relatively young, I think he was 63, 65 years old, started to have a thoroughbred empire, was certainly a, a maverick and a pioneer in the business. He imported horses from France, from Europe. Um, he had a tragic fire, and he lost his prize stallion, and because of that event, everything on the farm was to be fireproof. So if you go through the grounds, the crescent barn, the stallion barn, everything is stone and plaster and mortar and uh, fireproof. All of the, the ceilings and lofts were all done of concrete. How they did it, I don't know. The engineering feats seemed nearly impossible to be done, you know, nearly 100 years ago. The water tower was operational to part of the farm. We've now converted to city water. But you know, everything here is about sort of a, a support of a, its own ecosystem. You have shag bark, hickory, persimmon trees, hickory, uh, pecan trees, all that produce mast for wildlife and uh, also for human consumption. So there's a gardener's field that um, was a, both a formal garden and a vegetable garden, the two ponds, could, could be drained into a weir system that became a fishery. Uh, he had a dairy barn. So, you know, the goal initially was to have a pastoral um, sort of commune of a farm that that idea uh, further developed into a great thoroughbred nursery. And, you know, while sort of limited in, in, in development, several hundred acres of this farm that's nearly, I think originally it was about 2,000 acres. My goal is to, to maintain the, the history of the place, to accentuate and sort of polish and bring back all the unique structures that were either um, needed repair or you know, we needed to uh, clear bush and, and you know, think of going into clean up your attic and think of 1,400 acres that way. So you know, we started at the front and we sort of worked the way all the way through it and as you unpeel the Sort of the layers of the onion you see, so just some amazing structures that you would never, uh, that were overgrown and, and, and you didn't even know were on the farm. You know, the mill house was an operating mill right down on the creek and, and you know, to, to see a house built of stone with no such thing as an excavator, a bulldozer, uh, heavy equipment, how, they, and how that's done is just, just, just remarkable. Um, so. You know, state of the art for those times, um, certainly done in an uh, artisan approach and everything we do tries to emulate that the best way we can. The farm was the backdrop for the Sea Biscuit movie. Um, the, there's a scene when Toby McGuire uh, gallops over the bridge. Um, that's sort of an iconic scene in that movie. You know, at the old Hillendale, we hosted the Tobe event. We had the great Aretha Franklin here. It was a very memorable night. Uh, we had Frank Sinatra Jr., uh, another memorable night with uh, Frank Sinatra's uh, original band, Big Band Sound, which, which I love. Um, we're going to host the Tobe event here this year, and we're gonna try to come up with some, some really neat sort of community ideas to open the place up because, you know, People have heard about Alapa, sort of intimidating, stone walls all around it, gates closed, so we want to be welcoming and inviting to the public in a manner that allows us to do our business and to uh, you know, not have too much traffic, but to, to share the place. The goals that we have for the business are to achieve at the highest levels, um, 
I think we're better positioned now than we ever have. You know, we stand elite stallions between Curlin, Kitten's Joy, Go Sapper. Uh, we own a large position in Charlatan. He'll come here next year. Brilliant prospect, uh, Army Mule, first cropper, yearlings. Uh, uh, I believe the future is great. Um, there's always challenges to the business. The business overall has challenges that we haven't faced before, but I plan to, uh, if, if there's two farmers left in the business 20 years from now, I plan to be one of them. And if there's one farm left, I expect to be the farm still left. So uh, we're, we're, we're committed uh, all the way.